Hi guys, welcome to Gals Galvitz. We are in Glasgow Central Station waiting for Greg and Jen to take off the train, which is going to be on that platform in one minute. Yay! So I say come get lost with but it's our hometown, so that's not going to happen. They talk that. Awesome! <laughs> welcome to Glasgow. The weather's pish. So we're in Edinburgh. Get fun. It's really cold. And since we're at home, I'm wearing my any scarf I want because this technically isn't a travel thing as far as I'm concerned. Graveyard boy. Where Birkin Hair came to steal the bodies. Why, laddie? You don't even need to bring your own buck fast, it's everywhere. The proclaimers are playing? No danger, really? That would be amazing. Can you hear that? That's proclaimers. <laughs> That's like the most Scottish thing ever, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, welcome to Scotland. <laughs> It's Oktoberfest, I forgot. So many people just getting drunk off their ass. Getting pushed. Getting pushed. <laughs> right on my old time. Let's do it. I bought you a scarf in there once. The thing that annoys me about Edinburgh is the first thing you ever hear when you get here is the abrasive sound of bagpipes. I don't like the bagpipes here for some reason. It's really weird. It's really touristy and really abrasive and just it's noise. I just don't like it. So we're on the Royal Mile. We're going to go up to see the castle and have a just a little look about. So we've got a funny video last time we were here standing over there when the Edinburgh tattoo marched right by. I wonder if I can find that footage if I can. I'll, I'll play it now, see how it looks. Enjoy that. It's going to be a Scottish wedding. He's not wearing a kilt though, come on. Yeah, somebody's getting married and they're not wearing a kilt in Edinburgh. Terrible. Here we go. So this is Edinburgh Castle. It's my second favourite castle in Scotland, that's correct. Stirling Castle is still my favourite by a long, long shot. It's really nice inside. It's about £16 to get in. I'm not sure if we're going to go in. We might have a look. I've been so many times. It's nice though. It is really nice. It's well looked after. And if you're a member of the Scottish National Trust, if you have one of the cards, <laughs> you get in for a discounted rate or for free. It's really nice. Oh, we missed a one o'clock gun. I'm sorry, that was my fault. That was my fault for sleeping in too late, sorry. Street market and some paella. Oh, <laughs> Hands down, my most favourite street in Edinburgh. Mainly because of the liquid rooms, but... I love the grass market in Edinburgh. It's an amazing little place. It's so toy box, kind of small and cute and amazing. It's so cool being in Edinburgh and taking people on like a tour of it that aren't from here. Because you kind of rediscover things that you didn't actually know, that you forgot happened. Like Nirvana played in the liquid rooms, which I completely forgot about and it just came back to me. It's such a cool place. I love the grass market, I love this little area. I think we're going to go to the fossil shop, which is just over here. Because Enzo likes crystals and hippie things. And they're boring as hell. But you guys like them, so let's go. I can, I can see it. 
I just had this really weird sensation there. I felt like Jack when he was taking us around New York. And I wonder if that's how he had, if he had the same kind of feelings there I had. Like we went into that shop and I was like, this isn't interesting to me, but it's interesting to other people. But it was cool, it was weird. I kind of like the idea of being a tour guide. I just need to know more stuff, but it's cool. I'm really enjoying it. This city's awesome. So we're at Greyfriars. We're going to see the Greyfriars Bobby statue and then into the graveyard to have a little look about. We're going to try and find Voldemort's grave, which was inspiration for J.K. Rowling's character in Harry Potter. I'm not sure if it's his actual name. Anyway, here's Greyfriars Bobby. It's good luck to touch the statue on the nose. So it's a bronze statue, but its nose is gold because everyone's touched it. So I'm going to go have a look. So there we go, Greyfriars. Really good pub as well next door here. Hold right, on. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so Greyfire is basically um, the guy. I can't remember. He was the old, um, not janitor, but graveyard keeper. He died. I was honest. It's over there. He passed away, and his dog used to pretty much go and sit on top of his grave every single day for like 20 years, and then eventually it passed away. And all the people got really sad about it, and this big story came out, and they made films about it. Here's the graveyard, and it is a tad busy. Oh yeah, there's like a creepy wee shop, I forgot about it. So let's see if we can find some skull and crossbones. So there's skull and cross crossbones on a lot of graves in Scotland, and I originally, as a lot of other people, thought that it was actually to do with plague victims, people who died from plague, but it's not. It's actually to do with the Masons, and it's a sign of Masonic membership, like Skull and Bones in America. And here's an example of a Masonic grave. See the Skull and Crossbones, and then the set square and compass. Usually reserved for Master Masons. Really cool. So we're looking for Tom Riddle. That's Voldemort's real name. It's somewhere in here. We're in a graveyard again. This is like the third. This is like the third or fourth trip we've been on, and we've ended up in a graveyard. Let's let us find Tom Riddle. There's more Masonic things. More Masonic images. This. Check these. Masonic as hell. So there's so many speculations about what these are for. People think it was plague victims, people thought it was pirates. It's actually masons. It's Masonic. A snake and a pyramid with an LC and I. Amazing. Yeah, I should have known it to be that easy. Could it possibly be next to the Harry Potter lookalike? Uh, I'm guessing that that's a, a strong possibility. Alright, so it's over there. We'll wait till the crowd. We'll wait till they go away and we'll have a wee look at it. It's not work whatsoever and they have to have a footnote. At the bottom of the page in some versions of the books that reads, the English have this very silly thing where if you rearrange the letters of your name, nobody knows who you are. <laughs> Selfies. Thomas Riddle. Get in there, get a selfie. We've never done a graveyard tour before with a guide, mainly because it's quite expensive and you can research it for yourself pretty much. Yeah, uh, it's interesting though. Right, let's go get some food. Definitely in Scotland. It's time for taco. Did you get a taco? Quesadilla. Oh, I got a quesadilla. I was going to say Taco Tuesday. Guess who's driving home? Me. Boo. I drove last night. That's true. <laughs> Quesadillas. Nom. Oh, Dr. Aspern? Yeah. I think I'll be having a little bit of that. Oh my kids at the eye. Yum. Edinburgh Liquid Dreams. Best venue in Edinburgh. So you want to go down the mile? Alright, oh, okay, let's go to the mile. The mile is quite quiet this time of year, which is very unusual. I've never seen it before. The Scottish Palm all the way down there. Yeah. All the way down there. Why did you pick the spooky lane to go down? Because it's a spooky one. Spooky lane. <laughs> Is this Cockburn Street? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Cockburn. 
Cockburn. Sorry, Coburn. It's spelled Cockburn. It's Cockburn. <laughs> so this is Coburn Street. Yep. Coburn, which is uh, spelt quite differently from how you would say it. Here's the world famous Scott Monument. We're going to go to Rose Street now, chill out, find some cool wee bars maybe, and take in the new part of the town. Okay, sir. I actually want this board. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Is that what we do? It's just a cool what we do. 32 thread, that's not bad. Yeah. So that's the end of our quick wee day in Edinburgh. Good fun. We're going to find a bar and just chill out. Before we head home, we thought we'd drop by the Kelpies and have a little look at it at night. How beautiful are these? They look quite... They look quite demonic when they're lit up in red like that. Oh, that's evil! Evil! Demonic. It's so demonic looking. Wow, that's terrifying! Kinda gorgeous though. Here's attempt number two of me trying to get the inside of this. Right, here we go. That's what it looks like on the inside. And now my hand's stuck. So this is what the inside looks like. Yeah, got it, I'm okay. <laughs> panic! <laughs> that was a little bit of a panic there. Wow. That's the end of our day out in Edinburgh. So it's day two, we're in Luss. And this is where Take the High Road was filmed. And also music videos for Funk the Void. And this very street for Bass Invaders was filmed. Or Diablo. So yeah, day two. Up north for a little bit, having a little look. Showing Greg and Jen some cool locks. And then we're going to go back to Glasgow later. Welcome to beautiful Scotland. Ooh. Guess that guy's in charge. <laughs> I always forget how beautiful Scotland is because it never, it's never sunny. So when it is sunny, it's very, very different. That's lust done. That was cool. It was quick. Let me get some lunch, I think, or some ice cream. No. These are my favourite words. Jog, scano, drink, Let's go. It's really depressing and grey. <laughs> it's a really good spot. Yeah, so the statue here, it used to be smaller, it used to be a lot shorter. And he's got the guy, Donald George, got glasses. People kept stealing them. So what they did was, yeah, they made it even taller so no one can climb up it. He's usually got a cone on his head as well. And there's that familiar sound of bagpipes that I don't really like. This is like the most famous thing in Glasgow and there's always, always a traffic cone on its head it's funny. and what happens is the people, uh, so the council remove it every time and every Saturday night or every Friday night someone will get up there and put it back up <laughs> It's amazing So yeah, the Goma is quite cool, it's like a modern art gallery and you used to hang about here, they had big seats It's such a cool bit It's really, really pretty inside as well it's quite Masonic looking. There's an old bank, believe it or not. Let's go! Big stuff, cones. Awesome. Bye, 
by Greg and Jen. See you soon. Boom. The tunes. Bye. So that's it. That's the end of our cool little two days with Greg and Jen up here. Introduction, in, introduction to Scotland for them. It was really good. Good fun. It was awesome. Sad to see people go, but yeah. So that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, share it with a friend. We didn't really film a lot today because we wanted to just have a nice day out, to be honest. So last was cool, but if you liked what you saw, share it with a friend. Paint Sky's Town. We'll see you guys soon.